What's going on guys, Sunny aka the Random Recorder here, and today I'll be talking to you guys about some of my favorite indie games shown off at E3 2019 this year. 2019. Now I gotta say most of these were actually, sorry no, all of these were shown off at Xbox's conference, or Microsoft's conference. Um, I was surprised that Nintendo showed off surprisingly little, most of their presentation was taken up with their own first party games we just mentioned and Animal Crossing, and a couple of other smaller announcements, uh, and they just didn't show off a lot of indie games this year, that was a little bit surprising, but all of these are coming from Xbox, so Xbox, good on you, because this is actually a great selection, these, this is like a varied selection and everything, so I'm excited that these guys are coming to Xbox. So without further ado, let's get into the list. The first one I was excited for was Ori 2. Now. This was, I believe, the third thing they showed up at the Xbox E3 conference, and I gotta say, it was one of my favorites. For those of you who don't know, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, or, which is the second game in the Ori franchise, I guess? Ori, um, universe, if you want to call it, is basically a Metroidvania-style game, and it's about Ori, who's a guardian spirit of the forest, basically hunting, or not hunting, but fighting these giant monsters that have kind of taken over. And I gotta say, one of my favorite things about this is the art direction. And, okay, I'm sorry, I know this, I'm gonna say this a lot. My art direction was, I think, pretty much the reason I chose most of these. There's, like, three on this list that I don't believe I liked specifically because of their art direction. A lot of the stuff on here I liked very much because of their art direction. So I'm gonna say art and things like that a lot. But yeah, Ori 2's, one of my favorite thing about it was Ori is kind of done in this 2D style, whereas the environment, the world, and all of your enemies uh, have a bit more, they're done in 3D, and they're actually slightly more realistic to them as well. And I absolutely, I think it's really nice. It looks fun, the combat looks really fluid, and so does the movement. Um, again, the art direction, beautiful. The soundtrack, I haven't heard much of it, but it looks pretty interesting, so hopefully that, that can all combine to get a really good game. The next game, 12 Minutes, a interactive psychological thriller about a man trapped in a time loop. I gotta say, this one, the trailer was very striking, like, it was very captivating and interesting, and it was, it had me genuinely like, what is this? What is going on here? And I gotta say, it looks absolutely amazing. The story looks genuinely interesting, and I, I really do want to know more about this game. It was intense, and it was scary, so hopefully it can deliver on that and give me that in a full gaming experience. The next one, Way to the Woods. This came on right after the 12 minutes trailer, and I was like, you don't just follow up, you know, this terrifying game about a man trapped in a time loop with this adorable cute game where you play as a deer and you just want to get to the forest I, this game is adorable and that again that's art direction the music on this game superb i would say or at least what they showed off in the trailer was absolutely top notch it looks really fun i actually want to see how the deer plays it looks like it'll kind of have walking but it also looks like it'll have certain powers like if you see the antlers can glow, the deer can actually jump. It looks like it'll be a fun environment to actually be able to walk around, explore. So I'm hoping they can make some genuinely interesting and creative stuff with the environment as well as how your actual character plays. I want to know more about the story and things like that. So this is definitely shaping up to be a top tier game. And the next one, RPG Time, The Legend of Right. This one stuck way out to me. Not because of the story or anything like that, not because of the soundtrack. Though I'm, it's pretty good. Um, this one stuck out to me because of its art direction entirely. This game looks absolutely amazing. If you have played the Yoshi games, the more recent ones, like Yoshi's Woolly World, for example, where the world is kind of inspired by art supplies and things like that, this game, and, and if you're a fan of that art direction, I think this game is for you because it absolutely has that feel to it, you know? The entire game takes place in a notebook and it's all like a drawn story and I think it looks really nice, it looks really fun. I absolutely, you know, love how they've taken that craft world and given it form. I think it's really interesting and I think it's really creative. So I really am hopeful about this game. The next one, Spirit Fair. This one, in terms of art direction, I think it looks nice, but I'm more interested because of the actual animation. The animation looks 
fluid and, and lifelike. The character designs, I would say, are also pretty interesting, with the deer lady specifically. And it's it looks like a pretty interesting game. I'm not really sure what I could classify it as in terms of like genre-wise. They said you can kind of build up your home, you explore new lands, and they and it also looks like it'll be very story-driven as well. So I'm not 100 percent sure what kind of genre it falls into, but it looks very fun, very interesting. And hopefully it can go ahead and give that as a full experience. The next one, Dead Static Drive. This one I was not as uh, interested with because of its art direction. I was more so interested because it's uh, physics, things like that. For those of you who don't know, game physics are essentially how certain games might implement real, real elements of like the actual world into the game. And I gotta say, Dead Static Drive looks like it'll be pretty fun as far as that goes. Um, for example, in the trailer they show one of the characters running off with a gas pump and you actually like fall over and things like that. You get to drive a car, so hopefully, and it looks like it'll be pretty realistic as far as car driving goes, and, and things like that. It looks very interesting. I actually really want to know more about the story and things like that as well. They don't show off much in the trailer, so hopefully they can kind of expand upon that and give it a genuinely interesting story. And the next one. Star Renegades. This game, again, art direction. The pixel work, or not the pixel work, sorry, the sprite work. Bananas. I know, I know people don't say bananas a lot, but it, like, it is insanely, it is detailed and interesting and unique and things like that. It is absolutely amazing. I'm not 100% sure how the game will play, but if the art direction is any indicator, like if it's as good as the art direction, I think it'll be absolutely amazing. Next one, totally accurate battle simulator, or tabs. I don't know how many people call it tabs, I call it tabs. You might have seen some YouTubers playing it. Give me one sec, I think my phone's gonna fall out of the tripod, so I'm just gonna put it back in there. All right, sorry. Um, but yeah, totally accurate, totally accurate battle simulator. You might have seen it, you might have seen some YouTubers playing it. It is, it's just really, it, it, it's fun. I gotta say, um, it's, Kind of interesting. I like that you can play as multiple, like dynasties and cons. Like you can play as a Greek. You can play, I think, as Chinese uh, civilizations. You can play as things like that. I found that really interesting. It's unique. I like. It's just kind of. It's so silly. I like how silly it is. To be honest, that that's kind of it. So, yeah. I mean, you've probably seen it. Obviously, I have. And I think it looks great. Next one. Unto the end. I don't know anything about this game. It just looks really captivating. Essentially, it's like a 2D, it's a side-scroller, but it's also kind of a, it's got RPG elements. Essentially, you play and you battle other people, but it's more side-scroller. I wouldn't necessarily call it Metroidvania style, um, but it's also not like Castlevania style. You know, you're not doing one hits um, or anything like that. It's very, it looks like it'll have proper fights and things like that. It looks very interesting. Hopefully the story is as good as it looks because I think it'll be really interesting. The next one. Um, this, this name, was the most captivating thing about this game. I don't know anything about it, but the name was the most captivating part. Felix the Reaper, a romantic comedy game about the life of death. What? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is or what it's about. It looked kind of interesting. I looked at, I liked the design of Felix. He looked unique, memorable, interesting, but um, I just want to know what the story is. What is a romantic comedy, a game about the life of death? I want to know, like, what's going on there. That looks... I don't know what it is, but that is looking, like, interesting. I, like, I don't know how you come up with that idea. So, hopefully, it comes out soon so we can learn more about it. Next one, Eichenfell. This game is giving me kind of Undertale vibes, I would say. It's an RPG that's 2D. And obviously it's giving, I mean, you know, with those elements, it's definitely giving me Undertale vibes. It's done in an 8-bit style, so again, and obviously when something gives you Undertale vibes, I think that's terrific. Um, the music sounds pretty good. I believe they showed a little bit off during the trailer. I'm not 100% sure, but it sounded pretty good from what I heard. And yeah, it's looking terrific. Again, I want to know a little bit more about the story, but the art direction and the total, like, I guess the idea behind the game looks pretty interesting. So hopefully it'll turn out good. That's what I thought in terms of indie games at E3 2019. This is going to be a bit of a roundup. This is just what stuck out to me. This is not everything at E3, but those are my highlights. 
So we made a full playlist of E3 videos, you can go ahead and check it out on the channel and go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Let me know what you guys think about some of the games in the comment section below. Was there any game that I didn't talk about that you guys really liked? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe today to join the TR Army and hit the notification bell when you want to be notified of future uploads. That's going to be all for today. Ren Recorders, peace out.